Hi everyone, it's Jacob. I'm here with Glam Glow and there's Super Mud Mask. I'm just rubbing my skin Hi everybody, I'm Jacob Meyer and this is my accounting Go See It project. For my accounting Go See It project, I decided to choose Estee Lauder Companies. Once a wholesaler turned retail giant, Estee Lauder Companies is an American multinational conglomerate based in Manhattan, New York City. This multinational conglomerate is the world's leaders in fragrance, skincare, hair care, and makeup. In 2019, Estee Lauder Companies made a net sales of over $14 billion and a operating loss of over $2 billion. That is a $1.1 billion increase from the prior year for net sales, while that is over a $200 million increase for operating loss from the prior year. Estee Lauder Companies follows a fiscal year instead of a calendar year, meaning they follow a June 1st to May 31st year. While Estee Lauder and Company's debt ratio for 2019 was 0.665, 0.6 is usually the term when banks see as to be too high. So for Estee Lauder and Companies, it is usually difficult to gain a loan. The profit margin for Estee Lauder and Companies in 2019 was 16%. 16% is above the average of a profit margin of 10%, yet it's not quite there at super sorry level of 20%. Estee Lauder Companies uses the inventory method of first in, first out. Manufacturing overhead for Estee Lauder Companies is allocated to the cost of goods of normal production. Including in Estee Lauder's inventory is Estee Lauder's inventory obsolescence. It is a reserve fund for the products that become out of date or obsolete. This is based off of cost of goods and the estimated realizable value that the product still has. Two accounting principles that the Estee Lauder companies also follows for GAAP are the accounting principles matching principle and cost principle, where you record costs at a historic price, while for matching principle, every cost that is incurred is also recorded on the books. Estee Lauder Company's inventory turnover rate this past year was 1.82, which compared to the industry average of around 2 to 3 is much below what it should be. This is down from the previous year of 1.85 down to 1.82. Day sales of inventory ranges from about 150 to 180 million dollars per day. Some important significant policies include trademarks as well as licensing fees that are required for their companies that they have acquired over the past couple of years. This includes Glam Glow, Bobby Brown, Tommy Hilfiger, and La Prairie. While products that are not defined as specifically cosmetics, hair care, skin care, or fragrance are strictly categorized as others in inventory. With the constant competition in the beauty industry, Estee Lauder Companies has put much time into the analysis of their inventory. While looking into the inventory of their brick and mortar stores, such as in malls, in their headquarters, and their online retailers. This is to make sure that they are staying on top of the competition instead of lagging behind and increasing their obsolescence. Important internal controls include having a threshold for a price in a brick and mortar store. So if a product is over a certain price hold, it will have a specific tag that will ring whenever you leave the store and do not pay for that item. This is included with an electronic sticker on majority of their goods due to the nature of this conglomerate being the leader in prestige, skincare, hair care, fragrance, and cosmetics. Prestige meaning expensive. Every year they hold a yearly competitive audit that includes people from outside of the company specifically to, to analyze all the financial documents that are not handled by the corporate setting to make sure that there is no corporate corruption happening or money laundering. They follow GAAP to make sure all of their accounting information is reliable and relevant information. And while the information is reliable and relevant, 
this audit committee is very important to the reliability of this information. If it was not from an outside source, you could not trust that it is reliable information. Along with having an audit committee to make sure that all their county information is reliable and relevant information, they do have an internal controls management team, which makes sure the previous internal controls that I have stated are being put into effect and making sure that all the inventory is accounted for and is being sold correctly. And that's it for my accounting go see a project for Estee Lauder companies. Thank you so much for staying tuned and watching my presentation. Have a good one.